Hello everybody and welcome back to the mega modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping back in once more, once more, once more to see what we might get today. There's plenty of characters we still haven't played here, so let's try and get one we haven't played. Or one we haven't played a lot. Um, ooh, Jacob and Ezel came up there. Have I played Jacob and Ezel? Because if I haven't, <clears throat> I'm going to have to, aren't I? Oh, you bitch. Okay, okay, I guess it's time. It had to happen eventually. It had to happen eventually. Um, we got blood bombs off the bat here. By the way, I am noticing a terrible rate, like frame rate right now. And I haven't done anything yet. So it doesn't bode well. Uh, we get blood bombs. I think we want to take those on you just for the HP. Um, yeah, this doesn't bode well at all. Oh my god, there's a planetarium off the bat as well. I, I literally haven't done anything and the game's like... 10 frames down from normal. This is... Is this just what Jacob and Ezao are going to be like? Okay. Would very much like to get a key for that room. That would be very tasty. But yes, as you guys know, I'm not so good at this character. I'm not a big fan. Um, but we shall see how it goes. That was kind of close. <laughs> I didn't see that was in the chest. Ooh. You tempt me, game. You tempt me. With the golden pill. With the golden pill. You tempt me. And I will take it. Until something bad happens. Um, and now you can take it. Friends till the end. Question mark. Cyanide's kind of good. Lockdown's kind of bad. Oh, and it's gone. Okay, we got a cyanide pill out of that. I'm going to say that that's a raving success. We also changed the size of these fellas a little bit, which I kind of like. You know what? I'm going to open that up. We get ourselves a bomb. Just because there's a heart here. And make sure we take it as the right guy. There you go. Big room here is... Oh, we still got Are You A Wizard? Forgot about that. Yeah, that wasn't the greatest of golden pills. We got quite a few stats down from that. In fact, I'm pretty sure we got two luck downgrades. But let's let's not focus on the negative. Let's focus on the positive. Let's focus on the positive. And let's jump in as well into the question of the day. What is something that in gaming you think should be more common? What is a, a, a trope in video games? Are they in the marketing, the way that they're created, the gameplay, the, the style, the visuals? What's just something that you really think gaming could do with more of? It could be something that already exists or something that doesn't, but uh, it'd be interesting to hear what people would really like to see more of in gaming. Um, I don't know, for me there's a few different ones, thank god we got a key finally. For me there's quite a few different ones really. Um, I'd like to see just more games, kind of, I, I play a lot of roguelikes, obviously, so this is kind of a main trope for roguelikes, but I'd like to see just more games in general apply, ooh, nice, we get two, I mean, they're not great ones, to be honest, but I will take both, in fact, I wouldn't say they're not great, Venus is pretty good, and we both get absolutely luscious dues, like, we are both looking fabulous. I probably should have taken Venus as the other character. I probably should have flipped those around, really, but we'll ignore that for now. Um, I'm just going to check my, my console really quick, because I am just getting... Okay, I actually don't have that many um, that many console errors, which is surprising, considering the frame rate right now. Um, but Leo is kind of interesting. I actually really love Venus, and for reasons that you can clearly see right there. Uh, also, Mystery Bag could be good. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, Yera, I think we just go like that. Yeah, I think, uh, sort of for me, Risk Reward is a big one. I really, really, really love Risk Reward in games. And I feel like it's one of those things that is kind of a lot of the time left to only be, like, used in roguelikes. You don't get many games, like, even story games and stuff that have much sort of Risk Reward elements to them. And not every single game really requires it. It's not something that you really need in every game but i always think that it just like if you want your game to re be replayable if you want it to have a bit more longevity it's always a good idea um give that to you yeah i think it's always a good idea also even if we didn't get a key we could have used this guy which is kind of nice okay let's keep moving and grooving blank room should have blank room we might as well just pop there you go let me get another one and that is all, folks. Let's go down. I have no sort of inkling in which boss we're going to go for here. Who the hell knows? Um, we'll see, I guess. I might do the beast. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's pop that first. 
shows us our secret and stuff. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the frame rate with these guys. But yeah, I think the ability to charm these enemies and stuff like this is going to be very valuable. I think Venus is super good early on. And highly underrated. Because you just get near everything and nothing can touch you. And it's, it's luckily an item that kind of effectively works for both characters. It, it doesn't, but it kind of does. Oh, okay. Who's got the higher fire rate? It's you, isn't it? I think we want that on you. Look at that. <laughs> Just all inside. One of my favorite items. Unfortunately, though, we're already having slight frame rate issues. They're going to get a lot worse. <laughs> they are going to get a lot worse. Um, because Cricket's body is a pretty laggy item on its own. And it gets a lot laggier with additions. So... We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to be trying to destroy these pots when I can. I am a little, little upset to see that I've lost my luscious hair. Where the, where the hell's my hair gone? I was told that I'd be sticking with my luscious locks, and now they're gone? This is madness. Okay, remember we can hit two secret rooms at once if we need, if we have the ability to. We can steal from the shop as well with this guy. So if we get another key, getting into the shop would be a good idea. But yeah, basically my tactic with these dudes right now is absolutely face blast everything. Get in their face and hope Venus saves us. Which for the most part, it will. I believe in Venus. I believe in a thing called love. Truly. But yeah, try and destroy rocks when we can as well. It's a little awkward. Just because, as you can see, we kind of have to only do it with one character. But again, it kind of benefits both, so I don't mind it. It's it's one of those weird ones, really. Okay, so unfortunately no key so far. We might get one out of this secret room, but who knows? Let's have a little looky see. Auto chests are actually a good a good sign. We might even get death certificate. No, we got we got the key though. We did get some spiders. Ow, you actually... That was, a, that was a pretty good hit, my sir. My good guy. That was a pretty good hit. Um, we also got a trinket here that we might as well just pick up. Okay, go to the shop real quick. One, because we got 15 cent, but also because we can steal an item if we so choose. Can you steal devil deals with this guy? With uh, Mr. Me? I can never remember. I mean, to be, to be fair, I don't care about stealing sharp plug. At all. So <laughs> that kind of works out for us because I don't really care about stealing that anyway. So I guess I'll try it. I, I I don't think that you can steal devil deals with Mr. Me. I feel like that's a that's a no go, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. This guy is an eternal champion, so we just gotta be prepared for the uh myriad of troll bombs. But honestly, with the charm, it's not gonna be so bad. This our damage is actually popping off right now. I'm loving it. Uh I think we take this on you. I think a Devil Deal is actually the way to go for us here. I'm liking more bombs. Give that to you. That's not great. I'll see if this works. By the way, I've heard as well, apparently sometimes I go, oh, it missed. Apparently sometimes it has a chance to just not work. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. Um, it, it might not be able to steal Devil Deals anyways. Mr. Me could just do so many things that I forget which bits it can do and which bits it can't. Forgive me. But I have sinned. Okay, we've got another eternal boss trap room. Just remember these are difficult. I always go into these thinking, oh ho 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 de ho. Okay, I mean, I feel like I feel like no matter how hard it is, Sacred Heart is always worth it. Always. Especially with Cricket's body. Because Cricket's body, um, if we get some range up, essentially means that all of the split shots are gonna home in and hit. This is a really not so good fight for us though. Though, something I am forgetting is we can do this. I say do this and literally miss everything. You can see what I tried to do there. I tried to push my bombs towards him. They just completely missed. Okay, he splits. Remember this guy charges and becomes an absolute asshole. Unfortunately, with the amount of creep on the ground, I think it's inevitable that we take quite a bit of damage from this dude. As long as we don't die, though. Um, oh, shit. These reflect shots. Oh, God.
Well, this is annoying. Because they're charmed, they won't pop their damn heads up. This is really frustrating. Because they're charmed, they won't pop their damn heads up. And I can't bloody kill them. Okay. Them reflecting shots back is cheeky as shit. <laughs> I mean, we made it, but that was that was rather difficult. We'll take the Eternal Heart as you just because I can guarantee that. Well, mostly guarantee that it'll actually pay off. Th also, this dude got Sacred Heart too, so. Yeah, I think Sacred Heart Cricket's body, we need more range to really make it effective, but that's a very good start for us here. I think doing the beast now is uh, more plausible because it's now now we have like a major defense mechanism in Venus, and we have a major attack mechanism in Cricket's body, um, plus Sacred Heart. It's good stuff. Those rooms, though, I will say, I I did think at first, oh, these rooms are really overpowered. It's really easy to get a great angel item if if one should spawn, but. Actually, the rate at which good angel items spawn is low. We've only had a few good angel items from them. And on top of that, I really do think that they are actually very difficult. Multiple times we've died to them or gotten very close. And even that room, we lost a lot of HP. So you are trading quite a lot for it nonetheless. I'm trying to think of more more uh, answers to my question of the day here. Um, trying to think of more, more that kind of fit alongside it. I think... I kind of think having more branching paths in games is good as well. I, I I really like games like, oh, there you go, like Cyberpunk and stuff like that, where you can, like, go a lot of different ways and do things very differently. Ooh, this is a very interesting one. Also, I feel like every single time we've found this, it's been um, golden. I don't know if that's the intention, but yeah. So when we clear a room, this is, ah, it has a chance to crooked penny. I... I'm kind of intrigued, for one, on how often the chances, and for two, how exactly that works with room rewards. I'm guessing it will Crooked Penny the room rewards. We, e we either lose everything or double everything. Now, it kind of depends, because if it works on bosses and stuff, it's actually really good for this character, depending on how often it triggers and how often it um, actually rewards us. Hello, sir. Could you make your way over, over towards us, please? Very annoying enemy to fight, but we got him. We have a golden thingy right there. So that, that time we got a penny. That was Crooked Penny giving us that. Um, so for one, let's crack that open. I didn't mean for you to take those both, but I'm actually happy for you, for you two. I think um, free lemonade's actually kind of good here. I'm pretty happy to have it. Pretty happy to have it. Let me just... Oh, I used the wrong bloody one. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to press Q. But yeah, now we've got about the same health on both characters, which makes me much more comfortable. But yeah, I was meant to do that. Jump into my web of lemonade. I hate these enemies. These enemies need to be deleted from ev from from life. It's so frustrating. That was Crooked Penny again. It seems to be triggering reasonably often. There's Crooked Penny again. And there was a Soul Heart in this room that's now gone. This is gonna be... yeah. Uh, we'll just take Restock and then I think we'll um, grab... Grab. And away we go. It, it depends. I think it could end up being really good. I think it being gold is just meaning that it's gonna trigger more often. Because it seems to be triggering pretty commonly right now. But like rooms like this, if we get a health upgrade from this guy, how exactly does it work? Oh no, okay, okay. It kind of triggers delayed, so it would duplicate the item, because it duplicated that health then. I I think this is going to be a lot of fun. It's risky. It's certainly risky. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And this is what I mean about risk-reward, people. Risk-reward is just so fun. It's like just... It just, it gives people like me that have thousands of hours in these games so much more reason to still sort of min-max and go for these weird risks and stuff. Because it's just like, I could get so much power, but I could lose everything. And that's just fun to me. 
Oh god. He managed to do a, a, a nice cut through. I'm just trying to lay down um, Red Creep, by the way, at the moment, so. Oh god. I managed to dodge everything there. Oh, oh, oh. You see, it's so good. Double PJs. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh boy, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. What a trinket. What a trinket. Like, we just need to watch out for range upgrades. I really want a range upgrade for this because it could be insane with range. It's already pretty insane. But with range, and there's two keys. Oh, this is just gonna be awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna be on an absolute high until I lose like loads of stuff. <laughs> But it can't affect, like, item rooms and stuff, so that's good. Because it doesn't give us it on the reward. <laughs> no, 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 no. I realise that I could take that with Sacred Heart and it'd be pretty good. But I don't think that's the way for us to go right now. It's rather nice. I'll check this because I can steal, or at least attempt to steal. And I most certainly will attempt to steal this. There you go. Doesn't matter which one of us takes this, right? Um, and then I guess we'll just grab that. And away we go. This is oh, what a run. Oh, what a run. I'm on a bit of a bit of a high right now because I've just been to the gym and I'm feeling good. And over the past few days it's been really warm in the UK, so I basically binge it for a while. We went out and like got burgers and pizza and drinks and stuff. Um, and so I'm feeling very fat, which means that having gone to the gym, I feel a lot better about myself. <laughs> Cause I was feeling quite fat but yeah I, I'm, I'm basically preparing because i've got a wedding um to go to on friday which is only a few days away from me now uh you guys will still get videos that's normal i'm gonna make sure to pre-prepare everything so you guys don't even notice i'm gone but um yeah i'm going to a wedding and it's gonna be an absolute blast it is not mine obviously um it's my girlfriend's cousins and we're going down to uh down south near london sort of area and it's a very posh wedding and I'm quite excited for it because I've like gone out and bought some nice clothes and stuff and I don't really do that very often so it's quite new for me. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's good. I'm excited for it. I'm definitely excited for it. I need to group you two up again. Honestly, free lemonade. Free lemonade is good. Um, it didn't get a double this time. I think we go with... No, no, no. Let's... Yeah, actually, no, this, this is fine. This is fine. Not great items anyway, so I don't really mind. Um, but yeah, being able to get double boss items here is tickety-boo. Very, very good. If we can get the other one from the shop that gives us double item rooms, that'd be great. But we don't really have many more flaws to take effect, so... But health-wise right now, we are doing so well. Also, charred dice. Charred dice is an interesting one. I think I'll take it. It'll give us all planetarium items, but it's a revive, so... And it's only a 50% chance for a revive anyways. Oh, God. And Rose was an eternal one here as well. God damn it. Enemies that fire split shots are so hard to dodge as these two in, in close proximity. I just love the fact that everything's charmed. It's so good. And we really don't have to worry about getting hit so much because everything's gone. Oh no. But yeah, because we just have so much health right now. Come back into my lemonade. Ayo. I'm not sure if that was a doubling or it just dropped four bombs. It's kind of hard to tell when it triggers. It'd be nice if there was some sort of on-screen visual to let you know. Because obviously when, the, when a penny drops, you know, when items double, it's not quite so clear. There you go. There's a penny that triggered then. It seems to be because it's gold, we're just getting it a lot. Honestly, a sack room is very plausible for us right now. We have a lot of HP, but at the same time, us having a lot of HP is kind of a rarity. Oh, this was, you get hit by one brimstone and you get hit by the other. I don't really have a choice. Um, Yeah, I'm going to say I really don't want to throw away too much HP. Spawn one extra bomb for each bomb placed. How does this work? Okay, this is good. I do think we need to quickly switch around our trinkets though, because we want more blood bombs. So, we want you to take that, you to take that, you to take that. Yeah, because then we get more blood bombs, and that's good. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
A free lemonade has been very good, but I think we trade up. Manuscript, that's really, really good. Yeah, I'll take that as you. You're low on HP right now. Oh. What? Okay, that, that, that thing just doesn't work with Jacob and Ezel. I see. That's unfortunate. I lost Mr. Me. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. It's still, still a good trade, but Mr. Me is a lot, lot better <laughs> than uh, Free Lemonade. It just didn't take the right item from me because the, um, the chest isn't programmed to work with co-op or uh, Jacob and Ezel. Even though visually it said it was going to take the right item, it just didn't because it can't. It always takes it off your primary player, no matter which one you uh, work with. Which I should have probably known. I should have predicted, but still. There was another card up here that I didn't use, wasn't there? Yeah. Let's go grab that card. So if we just pop a Wheel of Fortune, we get half a Soul Heart, right? Yes! A fortune. That's perfect. Yeah, we definitely have one character that is a little more stacked. This is fine. Stay still. Damn it. We're not getting many positive procs. Just charm the enemy and it won't fire at us. Say that and it still fires at us. Okay. Okay. Leprosy is unfortunate not very good. We're getting hit more on this guy, so I'll take it on this guy. I realize he's getting all the items, but that's... Basically, you have Jacob and Red Hitbox. That's that's what it comes down to. Champ that guy just in time. Champion Belt's really nice here. Would have loved to have just st stolen it. I think I take that as you instead and give you some actual damage. Just because you're lacking a little bit. Makes you a little bit more useful. Not a big fan of this room. Although, if I charm them all, it's just infighting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, who even needs the red button? Who even needs it? The triple bomb placement's pretty awesome too here. Okay. Ooh, a lot of rewards there. Ooh, dice bag is kind of interesting. Although I really do like the trinkets I've got right now, so I'm going to stick with what I have. Oh, God, these spike box. How did I not get hit there? Wow. I was lucky. God damn, every room reward is just getting replaced with a penny. I mean, at least we still get a penny for it. That's still pretty good. We're still, we're still getting good money, but, like, come on now. Does this even hit you? I don't think it does, does it? Ow. Boom. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so I think we go... Like that. Yes, because this is range up for you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. big range ups, baby. And devil deal wise, what we got going on here. Void Egg. Spawns one three locusts picking up a red heart while this item is uncharged will charge it. It's kind of interesting. Devil's Box. 50% chance to deal three hearts of damage. Spawn two items from the Devil Pool. Nine lives. Ah, you bastard. You bastard. Um... The Nine Lives bug got fixed, right? I don't think we can abuse Nine Lives anymore. Um, I think we take we take this as you, and then we swap it to you. Yeah. And then I think I go with Nine Lives on you? Yeah, okay, that works out. That works out. And then, do you know what? I'm I'm intrigued by a devil's box. Yes, it worked. Okay. I think here... Who's got higher luck? Okay, we actually just want to take both of these as you. Okay, that was incredible. 
<laughs> By the way, I don't think I've had Devil's Box ever actually hit me, you know? I don't think it's happened once. So yeah, we get uh, we get some Locusts here. And now we have much better range too. And yeah, the damage is insane. God damn, this guy is healthy. They do give us a Golden Bomb though, so... But yeah, now we can pick up this to... Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like Void Egg. Void Egg's interesting. Void Egg is interesting. The damage is insane. Holy hell. Yeah, this is... We're, we're, pretty, we're pretty much on Wreckfest time now. We're going to destroy everything. Oh, and it doubled everything as well. Booyah, baby. Booyah. Okay, we need to find our fool card, remember? Don't forget about that. I am going to do the uh, the beast here, I think. Oh, my lord. This is so good. Fool card, where are you? Remember, we don't need to use bombs on it either, because we've got... Uh, we've got Leo. We can just walk all over the top of it. I keep forgetting we have Leo, to be honest. Oh my god. Obituary is just insanely overpowered. It's so good. The amount of damage it gives you. Oh! This is the laggiest of laggies, but it's got to be done. The lag is on fire, but my god. My god, is it worth it. I'm stuck. What the hell? I'm stuck. This is bullshit. I'm stuck. Oh, that was some bullshit hits there. Okay, haunted chests. Throw your chest at me. Don't throw it over the wall, though. Damn you. This is why I said don't throw it over the wall. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is why I said don't throw it over the wall. God damn it, now we need to find a way to get over there. Because otherwise I'm going to be very depressed. What would we even take to make this better? I mean, first of all, we've got to find Flight, which honestly is looking not too promising right now. I mean, I could step on all the all the rocks um, and skulls to try and get a card, I guess. <laughs> Golden Blood Bombs look so cool. Okay, check out the shop first. There is Hive Mind there, that's kind of good. Will you give me the card I need? No, you will not. This is going to be a very depressing floor. I swear it's going to be a very depressing floor. Okay, so there's this. That's our full, that's our full card. Right. Now we've got golden bombs. So let's try and find the secret room. Flip. Flip. Flip's kind of good, but, like, not really. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't really know how, how much use we're going to get out of it. <sighs> okay. Keep her going. Secret room, secret room, where are you? Okay. Destroy all these. Got to get a card out of just one of them. That's all we need. A card out of one of them will do. We got ourselves a Mask of Envy there. I don't think we really need that. I hate this room. I hate this room. Tower. Damn it. Ace of Spades. 
Scratch card. High Priestess. I didn't realise that worked on those guys. I'm very glad that it does. Oh, right. Okay, 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 okay. Keep her going. There's other avenues here to success. Damn you. Keep plugging away. Secret room. That's good. Not so good. So we take that as you. And we flip and take that as you. Actually, okay, flip is... Flip is pretty nutty with these guys. I mean, we don't have many items left, but Flip is still pretty nutty with these guys. God damn the damage. Holy hell. Okay. No, there's like no skulls left, so we're, we're, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel now. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Damn it. <clears throat> hmm. Just a bunch of damn hosts. God damn it. Is there any pills that can give us flight? I don't think so. Okay, so now it's time to try and get a crawl space and hope that crawl space has enough in it. Oh, you two respawned. That's annoying. I can't believe it. Is there any way? Can I, like, bomb myself through it? I just stick a bunch of bombs here. Damn it! Oh, this is depressing. Crawl space. Save me. Nothing else can do it. Nothing else can do it, I don't think. no rocks left anywhere. The shop is useless. I did not want to do that. Hmm. Damn. Red candle doesn't cut it either. This is just... I fought so hard, but in the end, it doesn't even matter, and I'm so sad. Get that one as well. No crawl space. Right. Just kill you. You're gonna die very quickly. I mean, I say, I say that, I need to get a kill first. And then you die very quickly. Once I get a kill, my damage goes crazy. My lag also goes crazy, but that's part of the course. We did get both Polaroid and negative here, interestingly enough. So I guess we go... Oh, what? It didn't pick both of them up. The first one disappears. We're out. And it looks like there's absolutely nothing we can do. That is 
one of the saddest things I've ever seen. I don't get, like, we've, we've destroyed, like, every single rock and there's just no crawl space, too. It's just a bummer. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's more. My god, hosts. You couldn't make me more depressed right now. Nope, there it is. No cards or anything. Lemon party finishes it off. Let's let's give it one last goodbye. I love you, death certificate, but it was not to be. It was not to be. Truly. I mean, do you know what's funny as well? If we still had Mr. Me, we could just grab it. <laughs> if we still had Mr. Me, he could just fetch it for us. But we get too unlucky. We can't do that. We just have to push onwards, say goodbye to it, in the saddest of sads. Right. After that depressing interval, we carry on. We're gonna go unlock our new tainted heart as well. Cracker Jacks, I guess. I didn't mean to take it as you, but there you go. I don't want that trinket. Stop. Oh, I didn't even leave a trinket behind, did I? Does it work on this floor? I'm going to pretend it does and just leave that trinket and give myself a red key. I've gone, I've gone to all this effort. You will not stop me now again. Whoa, that guy's eternal. That guy's doing things. Okay. We'll make it to the uh, to the boss eventually. Oh god. Oh, damn it. Rooms like this as these two are just horrible. <clears throat> Somehow survived it. And rooms like this, <clears throat> with all the split rocks. Keep her going and hope for the best. I guess, I guess. Oh god, the charm is so strong as well. And that Crooked Penny is popping off right now. You watch us get like a hanged man as our first card drop this floor. The D1. Now that's a bit better. Book of Revelations. And the D1 isn't really, but Book of Revelations is good. I will certainly take. The other, them, them other space items are also really good, but... God damn these rooms. Walk through it. <laughs> Don't give a shit. Yeah, I took, uh, I took Tech Point 5 on this boy because homing laser. High damage homing laser sounds good to me. It all doubled again. Why with these damn rooms? How the hell do I do this one? I got get in here. And then let's let's just leave our ring cap in here and see if it works. I don't think it will. But it might. It does work. Okay. Nice. Okay. We're on our way. I didn't think he could do it on this floor. It's good to know that. 
How does these items in here work? Can we flip them again? Ah, I was maybe thinking we could just get an extra flip out of them. Queen of Diamonds. Drop to nickel and that's it. Okay, so we're, 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 we're speeding along now. We're speeding along. Ain't got too much to worry about now. I mean, the boss as well is going to get demolished. I would have liked to have kept my ring cap. I probably should have gone back for the monster manual trinket, but it's fine. As long as it works. Just like his father. Ooh, luck multiplier is really good for you, I think. Yeah, six luck. Don't do it. Okay, we're basically at full health now. Come on. You're not that strong. Oh, there's a rock in the way. I'm like, why aren't I killing these guys very quickly? Yeah, there's just a rock in the way. There you go. Okay. Good to go. Oh, God. I forget these guys are tainted. Damage-wise, it doesn't matter. We can blast damage and insta-kill pretty much everything. But their attack patterns, I do not remember them a lot of the time. <laughs> we are speeding through this, though. It's been an interesting episode, definitely. Item-wise, it's been very good. The death certificate was sad. I don't. What, I'm trying to think of what I would have taken. Because I, obviously, I would have wanted a, a room where I could take an item with each character. But I don't know what I would have taken. Like, I, I kind of would want to give my other character a Sacred Heart as well. That would be pretty nice. I don't know what the other character would get. There you go. We are blasting through these floors right now. I just look, Obituary is just so good because you literally don't need to have good damage for it to be good. Like, you have whatever damage you have and it's just insane. See, you are insane. See, he knows it. Pray for your salvation, Isaac. Well, maybe we'll get another death certificate here. Maybe we can repent. Sadly not. We only had death certificate out of the haunted chest twice. It's a really low chance. It's like 0.1. And fucking one of the times, I literally couldn't grab it. So sad. <clears throat> Gotta remember we have nine lives on one of our characters as well here. Look at that, 32 damage. That's insane. That's so much. <laughs> it, it should, like, give you half of that. Maybe even less. The homing of tech laser as well was just insane. It's like the tier takes time to hit, the laser's instant. I wonder how many things how much loot we've lost through our um crooked penny players here. Still I love it though, it's such a cool idea. Son needs you. There we go. Look at that. Look at the insta kills. Even the tainted enemies are basically insta dying. I'm sorry, Isaac. Big sad. Big sad for our brother Isaac. There you go. And then everything that spawns dies instantly too. There we go. Here we are. <coughs> I think it's spawn 614 we've got to do. Alright, let's go. So we do space. Ooh, we get Explosivo here too, which is really nice. So we go... 
I forgot that we'd get an item here, so we give you... I was given birth to you, to be honest. Um, and then we want to flip, grab that. Explosivo as well is awesome here. And then we want to do spawn... Oh, there it is. Spawn 614. That didn't unlock anything. Interesting. I thought it would unlock a heart. Hello. Interesting. And then you've got high luck as well, so we're just taking it all on you. And you got the yes mother transformation. Good stuff. Oh, I never slept in the bed. Yeah, I'm surprised that didn't unlock anything. That's a bit of a shame. I wanted to unlock our tainted heart. Maybe this guy doesn't have a tainted heart. It's fine with me though. Still had a very good run. Okay, TV's gonna get massacred, I think. The only problem here is we don't actually have that much damage because there's nothing to kill. So, it's not gonna get as massacred as, as I would have thought. It's still gonna die quickly, don't get me wrong. Now that we've got Explosivo in the mix too, and much higher luck. Still gonna get killed very, very quickly. But, not gonna be quite the insta kill I was hoping for. Imagine a world in which we could run this run at 60 FPS. That would be just beautiful. Instead of 22. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's literally the only major problem with modding. You know, Isaac, I really wish there was some way to solve it, but I don't think there ever will be. It's just how it is, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just insane how much it can lag. Especially when it's like vanilla item combos too. We lost a bunch of damage there for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is actually. Okay, just stay in a line. We've actually almost killed him just off of this one phase, which is pretty incredible. Don't do your spinnies and I'll be very happy. If you don't do your spinnies, I'll love you forever. Damn it, I keep hitting myself with my own explosions. I said don't do the spinnies! Also, I hate when this happens. I've been hit twice. Why have I been hit twice on the same character? Three times on the same character. It's another character with full health. Why do I always get hit on Jacob? Very frustrating. <clears throat> Nonetheless, we've popped him out of existence. And this should be really where things kick off, because we've got little things to kill. <laughs> Lots of explosions going off. Also, these, these guys get to sit on top of each other, which is really nice. Makes dodging a lot easier. Oh my god, he's trying to escape the... <laughs> The pull, it wouldn't let him go. It won't let him go. Ow, we lost our holy mantles. I don't know if we lost both there, I just won. Oh my god. It's pulling him around so much, it's hard to kind of focus on what's going on here. Look at this, all these shots that are just hanging out. Oh, that's actually a pain in the ass. It's actually a huge pain in the ass. Okay, look at all those kills we're getting. All our damage is stacked. My god, these shots need to dissipate now. There's so many of them in the way. I can't fucking see anything. There you go. Oh god, yeah. When there's things to kill, our damage is insane. The stalagmites do count as enemies, I believe, for the next, uh, for the, for the beast phase too, so that's good. Ooh, he's uh, eternal. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the eternal version of this guy does. Ooh. Okay, that's an interesting little development. Just stay as far away from poss as possible from the bombs, I guess. He's not too bad so far. 
I think Exploit's Evo was a, a huge pickup for us. It supplements our damage when we don't have um, anything to kill. There you go. Another one bites the dust. Ah. Nice little heart there as well. Oh, you're eternal too. Okay. Oh, wait. You're just white because you are normally white. No, you're eternal. But that's things to kill, so... Really not a smart decision on your behalf there, sir. All you've done is given me much, much more damage. You see, how has, how has still only Jacob been hit? How? I don't understand. We're moving around all over the place and it's not good for us. Still look, Jacob's the, still the only one to have been hit. I don't understand. It always happens this way. Like, still. Still. Ha what the fuck? Hit Ezao just once. He's got so much HP and regeneratable HP too. It's just frustrating. How have you not hit him yet? God damn. Some, could someone tell me why that is? What happens there? Yeah, they're giving us bigger damage. You can see how big the tears are. I don't even need to focus on behind me because they just destroy him straight away. Also, let's uh, drop some bombs down. We've not got the speed for this. Oh, and look who got hit again. I don't get it. It's so perplexing. How do you do it? Goddamn, our bombs are just bouncing all over the place, especially the blood bombs. Goddamn. There you go. That's all she wrote, people. That's all she wrote. What a run. What a run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.